Hello everybody and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. I'm Kurukan and thank you for joining me. And I need to remember the way back to uh, where we were going. Yay! I guess we went the right way. I actually forgot that I hadn't left the Shinra building. And I think I'm going the wrong way here. Yep. <coughs> also, for those of <coughs> you that watch everything I put up, which is probably exactly none of you, uh, sorry there were only uh, a few videos this week. I wanted to finish that review, and I also wanted to be lazy. Mostly, I wanted to finish the review. Okay, here we go. How are my stats? Oh, I'm in great condition. Right, I healed while I was in there. Are you serious? Hey, hey, you serious? I totally forgot how to fight this thing. That shouldn't be too hard. Yeah! Here they come! Yeah! So they really showed up. I get the feeling one of those was supposed to be Kiahaha. You sure did treat us like dogs up until now. You killed off a lot of my precious soldiers. <laughs> but let's see how you do against anti-weapon artillery. You guys are worthless, but my crowd... My crowd creation... Nice pronunciation, me. My proud creation is a sure thing. If you think I fumbled these lines a lot, you should have seen me during that Sonic Generations review. I'm pretty sure I redid the first three uh, paragraphs of my script about four times. Each. I'll show you the destructive power of the proud Claude. But yeah, like I've been saying, I, I might be slowing down a little and I think this week was a good example of that. Yeah, uh, everything's still being made, though, for the most part. Honestly, I wanted to slack off, but, uh, I didn't want to do this at the last minute, so I'm doing this a couple days early. Like I should do. I don't usually do it, but I should. I think I'll try healing Cloud a little. I probably won't do jack shit because of the barrier. I guess it did enough. Most of these don't seem to do much damage. Let's keep it that way! It could probably do more damage by using Trine. Man, they really have a hate boner for Cloud. Sorry if you hear the crunching, it's a cough drop. I know, you're not supposed to uh, chew them. It's muscle memory. Ow. I've said heal. I 
that's so piddly of an attack. For those of the for those of you who don't know, there's actually a one-on-one -on -one fight against this big bastard in uh the uh battle arena on disc three. He's not hard to beat. I forget what that does. Apparently jack shit. Uh-oh. That looks like it might be a little bit on the dangerous side. Oh. It's dead. Never mind! Not dangerous at all! They're gonna explode. Not that! This is the Proud Clod? That's a weird line. War. I think that was supposed to be more of a yell, but I went with dull surprise. I love that there's not even like an after battle uh, bit of dialogue. They're just like, eh, and then run off. Ooh! Freebies! Mistyle. I believe that's armor. Isn't that like the best armor? Hmm. That is not the best armor. What was I thinking that was the best armor? Unless there's something I don't remember about it. Okay, Yuffie can have it. Whoops, I missed a box, and then there was a random battle. I get the feeling this thing's more dangerous than I realized. Oh my god, this thing's more dangerous than I realized! Cloud? Thank you. There we go. I don't want to waste my, uh... Limit break, because there's another boss coming up. Ha! It missed. <coughs> We're getting close to the end of this. I'll definitely do some of the, uh, the side quests on disc 3, but I don't know how many of them. I think maybe I'll skip getting Cloud's, uh, ultimate limit break this time. Partially for the extra challenge, and partially because I don't want to do any grinding in the battle arena. Okay, we are definitely gonna save. Okay. Go up the stairs. Oh, hi, cat. This way, Cloud! I did the voice like halfway through it. I was too lazy to do the whole thing. Translation? I forgot I do voices. Oh, it's another one of these things. I should have healed. Well, not healed, but, uh... Done the thing with the thing. I should have used a tent. That's what I'm trying to think of. That would have required me to use common sense.
Kick his ass, Sid. You didn't kick his ass. Gonna save the MP for now. Sid, stop missing. Okay, it's dead now. Yay. Alright, back up the steps. Hi, Vincent. Damn. Oh, Joe! Uh, that's not even remotely like the voice I used to... Yeah. Oh, these guys are different. Ow! I should heal. I'm so sorry about all the flashing bright lights. Do I need to put seizure warnings on this? Uh, uh, it's just repeated flashing, right? That uh, affects people that suffer from seizures. Isn't it? I don't know. I don't know nothing about seizures. I just know that it has something to do with bright flashing lights. There we go. Hi, Hojo. I'm gonna whoop your butt. That happened automatically. Hojo, stop right there. Oh, the failure. At least remember my name. It's Cloud. Every time I see you, I... It pains me that I had so little scientific sense. I evaluated you as a failed project. But you are the only one that succeeded as a Sephiroth clone. <laughs> I'm even beginning to hate myself. None of that matters. Just stop this nonsense. Nonsense? Oh, this? <laughs> Sephiroth seems to be counting on the energy. So I'm going to lend him a hand. Why? Why do that? Quit asking me why, you moron. Hmm, actually, you might be cut out to be a scientist. Energy level is at 83%. It's taking too long. My son is in need of power and help. That's the only reason. Your son? <laughs> Although he doesn't know. <laughs> what will Sephiroth think when he finds out I'm his father? Always looking down on me like that. <laughs> Sephiroth is your son? <laughs> I offered the woman with my child to Professor Gas Genova Project. When Sephiroth was still in the womb, we took the cells of Genova. <laughs> I can't believe you're the one who did this. The illusionary crime against Sephiroth. <laughs> no, you're wrong. It's my desire as a scientist. <laughs> I was defeated by my own desire to become a scientist. I lost the last time as well. I've injected Genova cells into my own body. <laughs> Here are <laughs> my results. Well, he's slightly unhinged, I think. I think there was a trick to beating this boss really easily, but I don't remember what it was. Eh! It's a waste, but I'm gonna go ahead and use that now. Eat Meteor Rain, you deranged lunatic! <laughs> now let's see how the Mako Juice is reacting! One down, two to go. Honestly, even though I mentioned uh, that <coughs> I seem to remember there being an easy way to beat this guy, it doesn't matter. I don't remember him being particularly hard at any of my runs. 
Then again, I'm, like, super duper incompetent these days. I need to destroy the arms first. Ow! Rude. Uh-oh. Okay, I targeted the right thing. Let's get Cloud back up to health. Thank you, Yuffie. Oh, he has another arm. Wow, sleep. I feel so threatened. Did I mention I have a ribbon equipped? Uh, okay. Yeah, just keep, keep doing that to Cloud. It's actually helping me. Okay, he's down. Uh, I can't attack him at all. What? Oh, he's dead. Fantastic. <coughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to clear my throat there. I believe this guy's called Heretic. Nope. W one of them. Probably the second form was Heretic Hojo. That's why it was called. Just in case, let's... Ow! Oh my god! Can I... Okay, I have a chance to counter with a few of those. That was pretty great. Did I take a hit for Yuffie in the middle of that combo and counter? That's awesome! Cloud, you're awesome! Oh, I know it's because of the way I have my materia set up, but still, that's awesome. It attacks Sid, pod counters. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Claude's like, I ain't having none of that shit, bitch. No, you. I killed him with a counter attack. Beautiful. I mastered the Chocobo Mog materia. And the Chocobo Lure. Sweet! And I got a power source! It's the gift that keeps on giving! Goddamn bastard. I'm just guessing that's what he said. How sad. For him. Wow, that was like a Sonic Heroes level bit of dialogue there, Yuffie. Unless she was being serious, in which case I bastardized her. Shinra's finished. Meteor's gonna fall in about... Seven more days. That's what Grandfather said. Red 13. You want to see everyone in Cosmo Canyon again? Yes. You want to see Marlene, right? Don't ask me that. We'll be Sephiroth. Then, if we don't release the power of Holy in seven days, there won't be a planet left to protect. If we can't beat Sephiroth... It's as good as death for us. We'll just go a few days sooner than the rest who will die from Meteor. Don't be thinking you're gonna lose even before you fight! No. What I meant was... What are we all fighting for? I want us all to understand that. Save the planet for the future of the planet. 
Sure, that's all fine. But really, is that really how it is? For me, this is a personal feud. I want to beat Sephiroth and settle my past. Saving the planet just happens to be a part of that. I've been thinking. I think we're all fighting for ourselves. For ourselves and that someone, something, whatever it is that's important to us. That's what we're fighting for. That's why we keep up this battle for the planet. You're right. Sounds cool saying it's just to save the planet. I was the one who blew up that Mako reactor. Looking back on it now, I can see that wasn't the right way to do things. Made a lot of friends and innocent bystanders suffer. At first, that was my revenge against Shinra for attacking my town. But now, yeah, I'm fighting for Marlene. For Marlene. For Marlene's future. Yeah, I guess I want to save the planet for Marlene's sake. Go and see her. Make sure you're right and come back. All of you. Get off the ship and find out your reasons for yourselves. I want you to make sure that I want you to come back. Maybe ain't none of us will come back. Meteor's just gonna kill us all anyway. Let's just forget any useless struggling. I know why I'm fighting. I'm fighting to save the planet and that's that. Besides that, there's something personal too. A very personal memory I have. What about you all? I want all of you to find that something within yourselves. If you don't find it, then that's okay, too. You can't fight without a reason, right? So I won't hold it against you if you don't come back. What are you gonna do, Tifa? Did you forget? I'm all alone. I don't have anywhere to go. Everyone's gone. Yeah, we don't have anywhere or anyone to go home to. You're right. But I'm sure someday they'll come back, don't you think? Hmm, I wonder. Everyone has an irreplaceable something they're holding on to, but this time our opponent... But that's all right, even if no one comes back. As long as I'm with you, as long as you're by my side, I won't give up even if I'm scared. Tifa. No matter how close we are, we were far apart before this. When we were in the live stream surrounded by all those screams of anguish, I thought I heard, heard your voice. I ruined this scene entirely with my inability to pronounce words. <sighs> You probably don't remember this, but deep in my heart, I heard you calling my name. Or at least I thought I did. Yeah, at that time I heard you calling me. You were calling me back from the stream of consciousness and the life stream. After all, I promised that if anything were to ever happen to you, I would come to help. Cloud, do you think the stars can hear us? Do you think they see how hard we're fighting for them? I don't know, but whether they are or not, we still have to do what we can and believe in ourselves. Someday, we'll find the answer. Right, Tifa? That's why I learned from you when I was in the live stream. Yeah, that's right. Hey, Tifa, I... There are a lot of things I wanted to talk to you about. But now that we're together like this, I don't know what I really wanted to say. Guess nothing's changed at all. Kinda makes you want to laugh. Cloud, words aren't the only thing that tell people what you're thinking. I'm trying not to laugh, but I'm just thinking of what Machina Bridged will do when they get to this part. Or Machina Bridge. Whatever. The Team Four Star parody. It's almost dawn. Huh? Sorry. Did I wake you? It's almost dawn, Tifa. 
Um, good, good morning, Cloud. Give me a little longer. Just a little bit longer. This day will never come again. So let me have this moment. Yeah, okay. This is probably the last time we'll have together. I'm trying to figure out, where are they even parked? How did they get back up to the airship? I don't see a rope hanging from it, unless it's just too far away. Maybe they use those crazy anime jumps like in Advent Children. We'd better go. But I still... It's alright, Tifa. You said so yourself yesterday. At least we don't have to go on alone. Yes, that's right. Okay, let's go. The airship is too big for just the two of us. Yeah, it's a little lonely without everyone. Don't worry, it'll be okay. I'll make a big enough ruckus for everyone. Besides, I'm the planet, and we're flying around casually like before. I won't have time to feel lonely. Uh. It's moving. Barrett, Sid! Uh, oh, is that okay with you? Red 13! Why didn't you tell me? But you know, Sid. Hey, Red 13, if you button now, you'll never know what they'll say later. Were you watching? That means she had a high affection level with Cloud. Vincent! Why such a puzzled look? You didn't want me to take him? No, it's just that you're always so cold. I thought you didn't care what was happening. Cool? Huh, <laughs> I guess that's just how I am. Sorry. Well, look at here. The Shinra managers come back. Ah, excuse me, but I wanted to come with the main group, but I couldn't get away. So some people in Midgar took me in. I know I have a stuffed animal body, but I'll work really hard. I guess that's everyone. No, Yuffie's missing. Eh, yeah, she ain't gonna show up. At least this time she didn't steal our materia. Guess we gotta be thankful for that. How could you say that? I came all the way here after being seasick as a dog. I didn't go through all that just to have you guys have the best parts all to yourselves. Welcome back, Yuffie. Gee, Cloud, that's so nice of you to say. You sick? Well, whatever. I'm gonna be in my reserve seat in the hall, waiting. Ugh. Ugh. Yuffie's always had a load of fun. Thanks, everyone. We didn't come back for your spiky-headed ass. We came back for Marlene. Guess it's just my whatcha call them. Feelings or something. I, uh, I ain't got no words now. Although she's not here, she left us a window of opportunity. We can't let it go like this. Aerith. She was smiling to the end. We have to do something, or that smile will just freeze like that. Let's all go together. Memories of Aerith. Although she should have returned to the planet by now, something stopped her and now she's stuck. We've got to let go of Aerith's memory. 
Has anyone here changed their mind? I'm counting on you, Sid. Yeah, yeah. There are two levers here that have been bugging me for a while now. Let me try them out. Alright, so what should I do? You decide, Cloud. This is our last battle, and our target is the North Cave. Our enemy is Sephiroth. So let's move out. We're almost to the North Cave. We're on our way, Sephiroth. Man, I'm gonna stick it to him. What is it, Sid? Ah, some incredible force. Losing control! Get the hell out of here, flunkies. Didn't I tell you all to go home? Yes, sir, this is our home. Oh, man, stop trying to act so cool. All right, you jokers. Hold me down with everything you've got. Geronimo! And... I believe that's the end of disc two. I didn't get a lot of banter during the second half of this, since it was mostly dialogue. Approximately half of this. And the episode went a little longer, but I was expecting that. So with that, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you come back for the next one.